Hi everybody. Uh, time to tie a new fly. Uh, one I actually have uh, tattooed here, uh, if you can see it here. Uh, Benchil. So uh, I'm gonna make a video today tying that fly. I hope you're gonna enjoy it. Um, I sure will. So uh, let's begin. So let's start this uh, fly. First of all, uh, gold tinsel uh, oval of course uh, extra small that should be sufficient with the tinsel there we are now it's better so I'm using a light wax Backwards. Then I have my tail already prepared. It seems okay. So I'm just tying it in. Securing it. Going backwards again. Adding a bit more backs. Just to make sure everything sits properly. And now we have rest feather from <coughs> Golden Pheasant. There I have one of those. See how we tie it in. I think I just going to place so we are securing it a little bit And uh, now it's time for the next step, black ostrich hurl. And uh, meanwhile, somebody's pinging me on messenger, but when I make videos, I tend to concentrate tying. So if you have one of the guys pinging me and I don't answer for hours, uh, that means I'm tying. Short. Let's see if I can find a good one. There we are. 
changing to black wax Some days are good, some days are not good. But I will cut a little bit there to speed things up. Now we have the hurl where I want it. as well to make sure it will hold there you see looks okay cutting the leftovers Then we have uh, need to have some tinsel. A little bit of wax. And today we start with the oval tinsel. Just a little bit of silver. Otherwise, if you take too much, you will not see the ostrich hurl. Uh, yeah. Little bit more, we can have four colors in the body here. So 
I'm done with the orange. I think it's red after that. I'm just looking at the pattern description. Orange, scarlet, okay. Perfect. one. I still have some dry wood in it, so I need to dust it off. I'm gonna brush it out a bit later. We need to have volume. There's no body hackle on this pattern, it's a front hackle. Then we have pale blue. Well, claret first, sorry. Can I go with medium claret? Take anything you want. body here is soon done time to get some volume That looks quite good, volume wise. So then I start with a flat tin cell.
tights and tight the uh, turns with the thread to secure the things in. And then for the oval tinsel Securing it with a few wraps of the thread and cutting the leftovers. So from Tucker, I'm going to try to keep the same oh, auto focus. There we are. I'm going to try to keep the same tone as we have on the, uh, the last seal fur thing. Feather with uh, decent um, uh, size of uh, yeah the width of the feather. on the thread securing it get the leftovers Holding the feather backwards. Now it starts to build up a little bit. There we are. So just securing it. Cut 
paint and this is steam. And as you see now, start to get the decent look. So what I'm gonna do now is to prepare the, the middle wing that is uh, a golden pheasant um, the regular one. So I just need to prepare two, two of it to make sure uh, I can continue the video after. So I take a short break and uh, sort that out. Okay guys, I'm back. So uh, I prepared uh, the uh, middle wing. So first of all, we're gonna add the wax to the thread. So I'm just building up a little bit foundation here. Pair this these two feathers together. And uh, as you see, perfect location, exact on top of the hook as it should be. So what I'm going to do here is to add a bit of varnish. And then uh, let it dry for a while. Then cut the, the steams off in the front and then it's time to mount the wing on top of it. We are so a short break once again, and then uh, we continue the next step. Okay, so it's finally time to set the wing. Um, so let me, uh, of course, I prepared the wing earlier, so let me pair them. Looks okay.
so got some work to do here There we have it, the wing together as we want it. Yes, some minor small adjustments. Looks okay. So I just gonna varnish a little bit. So on the sides I'm gonna have uh, GC So I'm gonna start to prepare those feathers Little bit of galena wing, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna use that. So, start with the, your side. I wanna have a quite long. Like that. I think it looks to me I want that and then my side here just pushing it down a little bit There we are. So we're gonna varnish the head a little bit and then cut all the leftovers and then it's time for uh, the topping. I'm gonna skip the galena. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna skip it. I don't need that on the sides. Okay, so uh, now it's topping time. So uh, let's wax the, wax the thread and uh, try to attach the topping.
and that's the one I prepared during the short break. There's a bump here, so I need to cut that one off. And we lost the focus. There we are. Let's see if we can get this one in place oh, that's, not that's smart adjustments And there we are. So I'm just gonna varnish the head a bit and then uh, it's time to uh, take a photo. Picture. So this is the one I have uh, tattooed on my arm here. So and the bench is done as you can see uh, so I'm just uh, waiting for, for the head to dry up so I can apply a few layers of varnish and then I'm gonna take a, a picture of it and uh, add, uh, start, start to uh, create the video and then upload it to, to YouTube it takes forever upload time two to three hours even if I you know I have very very good connection at home um, but anyhow uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah give it a thumbs up and subscribe uh, share it whatever uh, try to tie the fly yourself um, that would be fun and so uh, that's basically everything for me today and see you in the next video bye